found a wounded goldfinch. I'm going to take good care of you. To help it, she went to meet Peter's grandmother to ask her for advice. The herb I need is called Artemisia. Heidi also discovered that Peter was going to a secret Shh. place in the wood, a place coveted by Carl and his mob. Teresa followed you. <gasps> After a perilous journey where Peter had to rescue her from a shaft. Now hold on, I'll haul you up. Heidi saved the wounded goldfinch and named it Chippy. Lucky. He's lucky you didn't give up on him. <laughs> hmm. Eat it all, Chippy. You have to get some strength. <laughs> Peter, look! Chippy recovered. Oh. That's great, but that's not a reason to chirp this loud. Stop whining. He just wants to thank you. After all, you helped me find the Artemisia that saved him. It's true. I know all the secrets of the mountains. Speaking of secrets, don't you think friends shouldn't keep secrets from each other? Yes, I guess so. For a moment's sake! <laughs> Hmm. So, will you tell me your secret? What secret? The one you hide in the woods. There's nothing in the woods. Come on, I won't tell anyone. I promise. That's enough now. If you were a true friend, you wouldn't ask questions. And if you plan to annoy me all day, you better stay here. <laughs> You're not going with your friend? Not today. Peter never stays upset for too long. I have to go to the village. Hmm? You want to come? To the village? I thought you didn't like to go there. With a blade like this, I don't have a choice. Good morning, Hans. Ah, uncle, you're early in the season. It's not autumn yet. My axe needs some fixing. Hmm. You're right. Maybe the blade needs to be replaced. Really? And who have I the honor of meeting? <laughs> Heidi. Nice to meet you, Heidi. What are you going to do? Will you put your blade in the fire? And then you hit it with your hammer? What kind of tools do you have? Well, if Hans gets caught up with all your questions, we'll be here all day. Why don't you go and check the village while Hans fixes my axe? All right, Grandfather. See you later, then. Hans, how long do you think it's going to take?
must have been very close yesterday when we saw the ogre's granddaughter. <gasps> we'll never find that spot again. I'm sure I can find it. The woods are too large. Hey, it was after the crossing in the woods. To find the treasure, we just have to start there. Very good. Come on, let's not waste another second. Today's off. Come here, please. Wait for me. I won't be long. The billy goat is in the mountains all day. His treasure won't go anywhere. Grandfather! Grandfather! Grandfather, I have to go and see Peter, or I won't be a good friend. Up in the meadow? Alone? Out of the question. Grandfather, please. Peter is my friend, and he needs me right now. Trust me. Mm, all right. Thank you. Grandmother! Heidi? I need your help. Don't tell me you found another creature in trouble. No, it's Peter. Peter? I won't be long, she said. Maybe there's some food in Peter's tray. Can't you think of something else other than food? Come back before uh -huh. I leave for my deliveries. Or beware. You remember what happened last time? Yes, Mother. I promise. What happened last time? None of your business. Come on, let's go. What? Oh, no. So that's your secret? You have a treasure in the woods? Yes, that's it. And if they find it, it will be your fault. They never would have known where to look if you hadn't followed me to the woods yesterday. I didn't follow you, and I didn't know you had a treasure. You see, that's why friends must not have secrets. If you had told me, I could have stayed away. All right. Maybe it wasn't your fault exactly. But what am I going to do? We could trick them. I came up with an idea with Grandmother. Hmm. Oh, can we have a break? Oh, I'm feeling faint. Eat a pretzel. Oh, I don't have any left. Teresa ate the last one. Oh, children? Hmm? Perfect timing. Would you be so kind as to fetch me some wild spinach? The patch is right there. Oh. Oh. Wait. We'd love to, Mom, but we have a very important job to do. Oh, I won't have any dinner then. That's okay. Blind and old people like me don't need much, I guess. We can't let her starve, can we? That's terrible. All right. We'll do it. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you. <laughs> Stop, William. What are you doing? Oh, I'm picking up spinach. That's stinging nettle. Oh, uh. up to you. Chippy! Hmm? Chippy! Thank you, Chippy. Teresa and the others shouldn't be too far away. Come on, Heidi. Oh. Hmm. Shh. I will show you my treasure. Thank you, Peter. I can't wait. 
And I promise I won't tell anyone. Come on, let's go. Let's go. We don't want to lose them now. You go first. All right. <laughs> Whoa. They did. They are too greedy not to have followed. Shall we check? <laughs> yes, they're coming. <laughs> William, come on. No, I can't. What about the treasure? I'm hungry. I'm tired. And my arms are still itchy. I'm staying here. Fine. Your loss. We're going. This is where Peter hides his treasure. That's weird. It's really far from his cabin. All the better. He knows no one would come this far. The lake monster. What monster? Monsters don't exist. What if we wait for them outside? No, wait. I'm not going back. I'm not scared. Uh, what was that? Ah! Run, Teresa! <laughs> Phew. That was close. that? That was another monster. Your monster's not very scary. It's a gentle monster, just like Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? It's Peter and Heidi. They're the monster? Of course. They tricked us. You can laugh. Well, we're waiting for you out here. You're trapped! You think they'll really wait for us outside? Well, yes. And Teresa is quite stubborn. She could wait for weeks, even years. I don't want to go out, Peter. I'm scared there will be a fight. Don't worry. I've heard there's a secret way out of this cave. Let's hope it's not just a legend. in here, that means he's outside. Can you see him? 
No, but there, I can hear him more clearly. That's the way out. Well, let's go then. One of the lake monster's teeth. The lake monster? Is there really a monster? <laughs> That's just a joke. You want it? It's a fossil. Oh, thank you. It's pretty. But when he met your grandfather, he got scared, so he left the cave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad they didn't get to find your treasure. You know, it's not just my treasure. I have a secret place too. Would you like to see it? Really? You're my friend, and I want to show you. I'd like to see their face when they realize we escaped. Oh. <sighs> William! You scared me! <laughs> what are you doing here? What do you think? We're waiting for Peter and Heidi. But they're long gone. What? They went back to his secret place to see his treasure. I just saw them. They're not in the cave anymore? They went to their treasure and you didn't follow them? Of course not. I want to tell you the news. What news? Well, the Peter's secret place isn't here at all. To you. You're the first person to see it. And now there's something else I want you to see. Thing I have left of him. He's gone, just like my parents. 
So, now you know where all of it is. We have to take an oath. What sort of oath? Uh, um, a treehouse oath. All right. What should be in it? Well, it's got to be for at least a thousand years. And we've got to meet here every year for the rest of our lives. And we can never betray each other, ever. <laughs> All right, come on, raise your hand. No matter what anyone says or what you hear, this oath stands for a thousand years. Here we meet as the years go by, friends forever, and that's no lie. Say do ga do ga do. It's only me and you. One makes two, makes us both. This is our solemn treehouse oath. Do ga do ga do ga do. It's only me and you. One makes two makes us both. This is our solemn treehouse oath. There's only one more thing we have to do. Do ga do ga do ga do. It's only me and you. One makes two makes us both. This is our solemn treehouse oath. Do ga do ga do ga do. It's only me and you. One makes two makes us both. This is our solemn treehouse oath. One makes two makes us both. This is our solemn treehouse oath. <laughs>